Let's get a closer look at the Hoosiers in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. For all of the work happening here over the past months, there are big unknowns at how it will all pay off for the IU football team. Tom Allen's seventh season in Bloomington may be his toughest test after a winless Big Ten season a year ago. I think there's always natural, you know, pressures that, that happen because of the the the, the, uh, the start of something new and uh, expectations for for that and what you want that to look like and 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 the biggest key is that we just it just uh, play our best. The Hoosiers come into it with two solid options at quarterback. Connor Bazelak transferred to IU from Missouri. 2,500 yards for the Tigers a year ago, leading them to six wins. He's only a junior. Could he be the offense's long-term solution? Third time learning an a college offense is significantly easier just because you have the experience, you know what, you know, you know how to run an offense, you know how to handle a huddle. Um, so that's that's definitely one part that made it easier. Jack Tuttle returns for his final season in Bloomington, largely a backup over the past three seasons. Is he ready to be IU's QB1? Coach Allen says he's already made his decision, but we won't find out until Friday night. I'd always encourage competition on a team. Um, I think maybe that's something we, like we've always had competition, but in the recent years, maybe not as much. Um, so I think competition is an amazing thing for a team. It's only going to improve everybody who's in it. Either quarterback will have some talented catchers lined up. The return from injury of D.J. Matthews certainly has the potential for quite a spark. And Lawrence North grad Donovan McCauley making a move to receiver could be a serious X factor. It was a tough decision. You know, uh, I was telling my parents, uh, I was telling my parents that pretty much that I was done. You know, but the relationship that I built for Coach Allen, you know, is, is very strong. I've always, like, wanted to play receiver. Like, that's just always what I've seen myself as. And, like, in high school, I kind of had to play quarterback, so that's just what I did. The Big Ten is a beast. We already know that. But IU has no choice but to jump right into the deep end and see if they're ready to swim. There's a lot of things about this team that, that excites me in those areas, you know, to where I feel like we have a, a strong group of leaders that, that care a whole lot and are going to make sure things are done the right way. Indiana's first three games will be at home, including that Big Ten opener Friday night against Illinois. The first road test is a tough one. They go to Cincinnati, and then the grind of the Big Ten schedule follows that. Michigan and Penn State will come to Bloomington. Indiana has to go to Ohio State and Michigan State. So can they get enough wins for another bowl game? It looks like an uphill battle for sure.